Hello guys, what's up? I am Anand Kumar and we are going to start the new course Web Designing. In this course, uh, I will be teaching you guys how to make the websites, difference between static and dynamic websites. We will be learning the new languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. We will learn how to make the uh, web pages interactive, how to do, how to design the web pages. We will discuss the different softwares which we can use so that our productivity can increase uh, a lot more things. So starting with the introduction to internet. Here we will discuss how internet works, client server architecture, domain names, protocols, um, and more. So starting with the introduction. So World Wide Web, WWW. Everyone might be know, uh, hear about World Wide Web. So world, what is World Wide Web? World Wide Web is a network of computers. Network of computers means there are large number of computers which are connected with each other. And what, uh, so, Suppose this is a, these are large number of computers all over the globe which are connected with each other through internet. Suppose there is a computer in India and uh, there is a computer in Africa and one computer wants to send data to another computer. So like, we are downloading the file. What do we say? What happens by, when we are downloading the file? One computer sends the file and other computer receives the file. Uh, this is similar to the Bluetooth. Like when we are sending the data over the Bluetooth, there, is a, there are two, two mobile phones. One mobile phone is sending the file and other is receiving the file. And we can send any type of file. We can send sound, we can send, uh, we can, uh, we can send video file, we can send image, we can send text file, anything. Same, same case is here. Like we can send any data, like we can send text file, multimedia, graphics, info, any information over the internet from one computer to another computer. So this is the world wide data. So next is how web works. So how internet works. So the different websites which we are. So here like uh, suppose like we are the clients. We are the uh, we are the users of the websites. We we are named as the clients. And the website and the computers where the website is hosted means hosting means where the website is online. It is called server. So what happens? This is a client like my computer. I want to use Google.com. So what what we uh, what will I do? I will open any browser, I will type www.google.com, press enter and I will get a Google homepage. So what happens in this process? So uh, whenever, whenever we type google.com and we press enter, a request is generated, created and a request goes to the server. So what happens at a server? Server will, uh, server will some, do some processing like if we are, if you are like, um, Logging into Facebook server will check your username and password whether whether the username and password is right. If it is right, it will send you the your home page. If the password is wrong, it will send you, you the error message that saying that this uh, your password and uh, your, uh, your username and password are incorrect. Sometimes you get error message also like you get page not found error like or some other error like like uh, web server not found service not running anything else. So. What happens? There goes a request to the client server, server processes the request and gives us the response or the error page. These are known as client, this is a server, this is one of the client server architecture. This is a server where the website is hosted. Website can be in any language like, uh, like PHP, Java, uh, uh, .NET, Java, anything. So, so here we will discuss like I am saying to you like we have to type google.com request will go to the server of the google now how we, so there are like millions of computers all over the world how a request will know that which computer is that google's computer okay so for this like we have to tell this computer is a google computer this computer is a facebook computer like this is a server of google this is a server of facebook we have to distinguish between them so how like how we distinguish like we are we all are having different addresses my address is different your address is different so i want to send a letter to you so i will like write a name or write address over there and i will send the letter the same way here the address here we using is called a url what is url uniform resource locator what is the syntax of it syntax means what are how to write it how to write the url so first of all we will write protocol then colon then double slash then www dot domain name dot domain type so we will discuss all these things one by one first of all like the examples are like http colon double slash www dot 
yahoo.com http colon double slash www dot gateway tech dot com so first of all we will discuss this http which is which is protocol what is a protocol in any in any communication there are some rules like i am talking so i am talking english so there are some rules here. if a person who don't know english and he and he is watching my video he will not able to understand this video it's obvious so there are a rule like so same way like if two persons are chinese uh, if i don't know chinese and some someone is trying talking to me in chinese i will not understand so here also there are here also communication is is uh, there like kind of computer are finally sending data to the server and server is responding to the data so here also some rules will be used set the, so what is the protocol the protocol is a set of rules that govern the communication between client and server client and server are communicating with each other so here we will use some rules which are named as protocols like what these rules can contain like how much data to send if error comes what to do so different things how data is represented how many bytes are used for zeros and ones something like that so protocol here you we will be using is http hypertext transfer protocol this protocol is used to search the websites only see there are many other protocols uh, all the protocols are used for different purposes like ftp which is file transfer protocol which is used to send the files over the internet like you have uh, like when you are downloading a movie then ftp used when you are sending an email that smtp used simple email transfer protocol and telnet when you are like using the team where like you are remote accessing the computer so telnet is used so like there are uh, many other protocols which are used for the different purposes so here we uh, here the point to be noted is protocol here used is http so this part is http and this we have write colon and double slash this is a part of a syntax so protocol used will sometimes are uh, yeah one more thing i uh, want to discuss here sometimes the protocol used is used is https so https means secure it is a secure protocol which is using the ssl layer we will discuss it shortly Okay. So coming up on the next part which is the domain name right? these are the domain names yahoo way to white tech so these are the domain names what are the domain names names of the websites domain names are the name of the website like if you are saying i have made a website name xyz.com so xyz is a domain name so what is a domain name over the internet every computer have a ip address so what do you mean like over an internet like if like uh, the addresses of the computer are uh, like every computer having uh, IP address. What is an IP address? IP address have the two parts. Like maybe I mean some technical stuff. So this is called a network ID and this is called as host ID. So we will be discussing about the domain name. What are the domain names? Domain names are IP address of the website. What are the IP address? IP address are the unique addresses of the computers. Okay. My computer has some other IP address. Your computer has some other IP address. These are similar to our house addresses. Every house address is different from the other house address. Same case is here. And these IP addresses are numbers like this. 198.189.16.1 So remembering the numbers is very difficult. Right? I I am asking what is the IP address of the computer. You know, I am asking what is the IP address of the Facebook. So remembering the number is very very difficult task. But so what we will do is we will map the IP address into domain names. What mapping means we will create a table. Like I am giving the brief overview. We will create a table. In one in the left side of the table there is an entry domain name, website name. On the right side the entry is corresponding IP address. So next entry is corresponding IP address. So and where these domain names are stored, they are stored in the global database. So we have created a global database which is containing all this list. Suppose now you want to go to google.com. So actually what happens before going to google.com, we have to find the IP address of google.com. First we will go to this global database, we will find the IP address of google.com and uh, this is called domain resolution we will like resolve the domain name into its ip address whenever uh, so when we will get the ip address we will now go to the server of the google and now the same process like server will do some processing and now it will revert us back 
so this is uh, this is the whole process and uh, like this look up is done by by the browser itself i, I must say that like you manually don't do a you manually don't need to do these things these are automatic and uh, next thing is domain type so what is that what are the domain type like you have seen like you might have seen the website like abc.com summer ending in dot mil summer ending in dot gov etc etc so these are the types of the websites like if dot in means indian website dot com commercial website dot mil military website dot gov government website dot com dot au australian website similarly dot pak pakistan website and same way like there are different domain types this this tells us the type of the website whether it is indian commercial organizational educational outlook dot edu educational institution websites so these are the domain types so so we are done with the protocol http uh, we are done with the complete url http slash colon double slash www dot yahoo dot com so the complete mean uh, meaning is like http means we have to use hypertext transfer protocol www donates world wide web this is name of the website or ip address of the website this tells us the type of the website website is whether indian website government website and so on so this is the complete url where we where you will uh, we will type this url we will type url in the browser in the url in the title um, in the url field you will type this complete url and then press enter and then you will see the website so next thing is now nah, there are the two questions we will discuss one by one how many web servers do i need to host a website the question is you have to online a website so how many web servers do will we need generally only one web server is needed to host a website we need only one server so that we can online our website but if the number of users are very large suppose this, uh, like facebook.com google.com the the number of users are very very large so uh, one computer cannot handle so many users at a time so servers are also a computer so servers can uh, cannot handle so many requests at a time so for balancing the load we can use the multiple servers but if the number of users are very large to get the proper response we can host our website on multiple servers we can host, we can use multiple servers this is known as load balancing generally what happens like uh, we have we divide the globe into different regions like like population of india is very large so so there will be a dedicated uh, there will be a dedicated server for india itself similarly a dedicated server for china and some other countries so the request like an indian user types facebook.com so the nearest server which uh, will be the indian server so request will first go to indian server if the indian server is not busy he will it will respond to the request but if indian server is busy what it will it what what it will do it will find its nearest server now it will transfer the request to the other server and now that server will respond so one server is balancing the load of other server so the next question is how many websites can be hosted on a single website uh, on a single server means there uh, you have a server how many websites can be hosted how many websites can be online on that server depending upon the configuration and space means this all depends upon the configuration of the server how much hard disk it have how much ram how much processor it have so depending on these things we can launch we can launch many websites on a single server so from here we finish uh, the topic introduction to internet we have seen how internet works how internet works what is client what is server uh, how what is the url different type parts of the url protocol www domain name domain type domain name is ip address of a website domain type uh, next topic will be like we will be discussing the html hypertext markup language so thanks for watching the video and if you like the video please like subscribe and share the video thanks and have a nice day